This is Barbados uh, where animal welfare is not taken seriously. This is Barbados where dogs are being starved daily. They're being chained. They're not being socialized. They cannot exercise. They, um, they're being allowed to, to breed unconscionably. This is the exact Barbados that we live in. And today we've come here together in solidarity to say to government, we're begging you, please, unless penalties are put in place, it will continue to be a Barbados where animal welfare just isn't taken seriously. Without the penalties and the fines, we will continue to see more the, the Vino Howards. We will continue to see more Sparkies and there will be others to follow. We need for the legislation that's already in place to be enforced. We need for penalties and fines to be imposed on the Divino Howards and the many others who will come forward who think that it's okay to abuse an animal, to treat it carelessly, to drown it. And with these adverse behaviors, without government intervention, we really are fighting an uphill battle. The charities and the, and the sanctuaries and the organizations like myself be their voice. We are struggling. We are struggling. Every day we see it and it is heartbreaking. We are trying to control the population with spay and neuter. We're advocating against the animal cruelty. But the critical part here and the critical partner is government. If we have laws in Barbados, and it's not just related just to animal welfare, it's, it's, it's everything. We have laws in Barbados and there's no accountability, then we have chaos. You know, it means that a man can abuse and beat a woman and he can get away with it. It means that somebody can just crush their car, drive, drink and drive, nothing's going to happen. So, you know, people in the public eye will see that as absolutely, you know, terrible. So it has to be the same thing with animal welfare. It has to be taken just as seriously because animal welfare is not just about animals being abused. Often it's a societal issue um, that there's other things that's going on within that family. So if there's abuse of an animal going on, there could be other forms of abuse as well. And Barbados is a beautiful island, you know, and we want people to come to our island and so forth, but they're going to be put off as well when they're seeing that we do have these laws in place and we're not, and we're not kind of like respecting what we have around us, our biodiversity, our animals, um, and valuing them in the way they need to be valued. So lastly, we have a petition. Um, the petition is at nearly 10,000 signatures, and we're going to be giving that to the government. Um, what we want to do with this petition, again, is for the government to realize that we've got a voice. It's not just us. It's not, it's not just animal people, people involved in animal welfare that care about animals, it's actually people in general within Barbados, within our communities, it's our neighbours, our friends, our work colleagues. So we've got all of these people to kind of put their signature, to lend their voice to this cause where we want to see the proper improvement of animal welfare standards in Barbados.